Leaked Russian documents show Russian plan to take full control over Belarus in the next decade. Here's a summary of the article. By clicking, accept all, you agree that Yahoo and our partners will process your personal information and use technologies such as cookies to display personalized ads and content for ad and content measurement, audience insights, and product development. You can change your choices at any time by visiting your privacy controls. This post received a score of 45,000, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I admire them for setting realistic goals. They have downgraded from taking Ukraine in a month to taking control of a country they almost already control in 10 years. What I find unrealistic is Putin being alive in the next 10 years with his bitch-ass blood. True, but his thinking isn't only contained to himself. There are plenty of other psychos who could fill his shoes. I dunno he's pretty short his shoe size can't be that big. Lol, good point. There also has been photos of him wearing lifted shoes to make him look taller. So the next person will have to know how to walk in heels. Did you just summon Tom Cruise? DC doesn't walk in women's shoes. DC runs in women's shoes. He's always running. Lukashenko. Where are you taking me? Am I finally getting my promotion to colonel? Putin. Yeah something like that. Putin. You won't believe the view from the 50th floor Lukashenko. Oh boy I can't wait. I hope the Belarusian people's next attempt at retaking their nation is successful. Imagine if Ukraine won and war and the Belarusians took back the country within the next couple of years. As long as we're imagining, why not democratic Russia? In one piece were we talking about a little democratic Russia, neighbored by a Ural Republic and Siberian Federation. If the Asian parts of Russia split off into their own nations they'd most likely become PRC client states, so it'd be better for the people of Russia for a democratic Russia to stay together. Mongolia does fine. Let people govern themselves. Mongolia's current geopolitical stability is largely because it exists as a buffer between China and Russia, who both do not want the other to have that region. It's gotta suck being sandwiched between those two. They just reminisce about the time they conquered them both. While making some banger throat singing tracks. His plan is to create a new Russian empire much like the USSR or previous Russian empire before it. The first step was to take on Ukraine as Ukraine had been adamantly trying to break free from Russia. Once Ukraine fell Moldova and Belarus would be next on the chopping block. Step by step Russia was going to build its empire with Putin at the helm but the Ukrainian people had other plans. Trying to puppeteer Kazakhstan would put Russia at odds with their common neighbor China who has big investments into the economy of Kazakhstan. Yep. China changes tack very quickly when their own interests are concerned. They like Russia antagonizing Europe and the US. They're not our friends any more than Russia is, but they prefer not to have a direct confrontation if they can let Russia be their mad dog barking at the fence. They're waging a different kind of war against the West. An economic one. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.